Hey friends, good morning. This is Abhishek from TechVirus and in this video I'll be doing the unboxing and review of new HP laptop that is BG002AU. First of all, let me show you the box of this laptop and here you can see that the price is mentioned as 29,000 and manufactured in November. But I have actually paid 23,000 on Flipkart to buy this laptop. Let me quickly unbox this laptop and show you what all things are there inside. And the first thing you see out of this box is the instruction manual. They have mentioned about how you can set up your laptop for the first time. Now you can see that we have the adapter for this particular laptop. And I'll show you the detail of this adapter later in this video so I'll keep it aside. Now the next thing is the laptop itself. We don't have any other accessories inside this box. So let me remove this cover. And here you can see that we have the list of authorized service center in India. So this is actually handy because we have lots of numbers on internet and it's difficult to find the authorized service center. All right, now let me quickly unwrap this laptop. As soon as you unwrap this laptop, the first thing you will see is the design of this laptop. This laptop is silver in color and it has got vertical linings all across the laptop and it looks very beautiful. You might notice some of the zigzag linings across this laptop but those are only because of this camera. But if I zoom the camera, you can see that this is the clear texture what you will get on this laptop. Let me quickly show you the ports of this laptop. On the left hand side we have audio jack that is 3.5 mm audio jack. We have two USB 3.0 ports and one HDMI port and then Ethernet port. After that we have fan which is for the heat exhaust and the last one is the charging port. Uh, let me show you the front portion of this laptop. Here you can see that the front portion looks quite good. We don't have any hinge to open the laptop lid but again it's good. On the right hand side you can see that we have a card reader and we have two LEDs which will show you the hard disk activity as well as the power activity. Next we have the USB port and DVD reader and writer. And if I show you the back of this laptop you can see that we have no ports here and the design also looks good. And now let me show you the bottom of this laptop. We don't have much. We have just one sticker and we have option to open the battery. Alright, now it's time to open the laptop and show you how is the display quality as well as how is the keyboard and the touchpad. As soon as you see the design of this laptop, you will feel that yes, they have designed it very nicely. It has got very good finishing all around like the display. You can see that it doesn't have much bigger bezels. If I zoom the camera towards the touchpad and the keyboard, you can see that the keyboard quality is really good. They have used good quality plastic on the keys. And the most important thing you see is the touchpad. The touchpad has been designed very nicely. It doesn't feel that you are using 23,000 laptop. It feels like you are using some 60,000 or 70,000 laptop because the design is really good. And the only drawback what I can see as of now is the touchpad buttons. They are hard to press and if you are used to buttons on the touchpad then it's a bit difficult for you to use this laptop. Let me show you these small rubbers around the screen of this laptop. This will protect your laptop screen if you accidentally close the lid of this laptop really hard. Now let me show you the camera of this laptop. Here you can see that we have camera, we have the sensor and the microphone inbuilt on the top of this laptop. Now let me show you the charger of this laptop. Here you can see that charger looks good. It's not too big or too small. It has got good length of wire and if I zoom the camera and I show you the details on this charger here you can see that it consumes approximately 85 watts per hour. That's actually on the higher side. Alright now it's time to power on the laptop for the first time. So I'll just press the power button on the left. And this might take longer time for the first boot because it will do the initial configuration. It might download some of the updates from internet. And in this case, like when I started this laptop for the first time, it took me approximately two hours to boot because it had lots of updates from internet. And I just accepted the updates and it goes on downloading and then installing. Now you can see that we have option to update our personal details and then we do the initial setup in this laptop. So I'll skip the video and I'll directly take you once the initial setup is done. We have lots of things to fill. We have to set the Wi-Fi and then we'll complete the initial setup. Now you can see the laptop is completely configured and the first thing you will look at the display. The display quality looks really good on this laptop. 
it has got 15 inch screen then also it looks gorgeous and also please note that the small flickerings and the linings on the screen what you can see in this video is just because of my camera because my camera is not able to render the quality which is being displayed by this laptop so be rest assured that the display quality of this laptop is really good now you can see that this is the start menu of Windows 10 they have really improved the Windows 10 start menu because in Windows 8 it was into a different screen and it has to come and go from the desktop and then again back into the tiles mode now let me show you the configuration of this laptop here you can see that the storage it has is approximately 1 TB and 20 GB is reserved for the system recovery disk now let me show you the configuration of this laptop here you can see that we have the AMD A87410 APU with AMD Radeon R5 graphics card which is clocked at 2.2 GHz and it has got 4 GB of RAM and has Windows 10 operating system alright now it's time to show you the performance of this laptop that how this laptop works in day-to-day -day usage like for example if you open Word 2013 it loads pretty quickly it does not lag that much like in another laptop I have seen it this same range like 23,000 range it takes some more time to load these application here you can see that even Microsoft Excel loads quite quickly and let me open Microsoft PowerPoint here you can see that PowerPoint is also loading quite quickly and I have opened all the application in parallel and the multitasking you can see that it's quite effective and I've seen that application is also not crashing even if you open lots of application in parallel so overall this laptop is very good for your day-to-day -day usage and let me try to check how is the multi window option here so here in Windows 10 you can see that we have multi desktop option as well and multi window option so here you can see that this is multi window option you can switch to any of the window whatever is open by just clicking the Windows tab button alright now let me check the browsing performance of this laptop here you can see that I have opened Google Chrome and I'm connected using Wi-Fi if you see the bottom right side you can see that the signal in this particular laptop for Wi-Fi is good I have uh, my router in the next room and it is approximately 10 meter far from that particular Wi-Fi router but still the signal is full here I'm trying to open Times of India website which is one of the heaviest website in India here you can see that this site is full of ads all around and lots of graphics and videos on the page itself and you can see that the graphic loads quite easily on this particular laptop so we don't have much lag it is a bit laggy but again it's not that much laggy that it will be difficult for you to use uh, this laptop for browsing any of the website now let me check how is the video buffering happens on this particular laptop so let me open YouTube and yes you can see that the Google search is quite fast on this laptop and thumbnails are loading quite quickly now let me search my channel and see how is the video performance so here is the tech virus channel and if I click on that tech virus here you can see that one video is loading it's not taking much time let me scroll down and place some of the video so let me play this one and here you can see that the buffering is happening quite fast it's not lagging at all and the video is playing quite smoothly now let me quickly show you the new desktop feature of this laptop this comes with Windows 10 so when you click on new desktop feature on the right hand side it will give you option to completely work on a different desktop like you can open your different application on another window and uh, like here I have opened Microsoft Edge as well as the store application and when I click on this particular button here you can see that we have two different icons showing up that means it has two different desktop so the first desktop has these applications running on and the second one has the different one so we want to switch you just have to click on the small icon and you can select desktop 1 desktop 2 you can add up to 4 to 5 desktop on this particular laptop and there are no lags you can see that we can easily switch between one application to another one window to another window one desktop to another desktop so that's all smooth on this particular laptop so for day-to-day -day usage for normal application like Microsoft Office and your internet browsing there is no issue with this laptop you can easily go ahead and buy if you want for these two things alright now it's time to check the gaming performance of this particular laptop so I've installed a couple of games on this laptop like NFS most wanted that was like old game and let me try to open the NFS most wanted on this particular laptop and let's see how much time does it take to load so here is the game 
and you can see that game is loading up and you can see that graphics are looking good at this point of time so let it load I'll skip this video and I'll directly take you to the game when it starts so it, it took approximately two to three minutes to load this game now you can see that game is completely loaded and you can see that how is the graphics graphics looks good but you can see there are lots of lag and it's approximately around 15 to 20 frames per second and at this performance it is really unplayable you will not able to judge where this car is going left or right it's quite difficult so for need for speed most wanted this laptop is not at all good so I will definitely not recommend you to buy this laptop if you are a gamer because this game is quite old game like three years before it was launched and still this laptop is not able to play this game but let me try to give one more shot to this game like by reducing the graphics quality to the lowest and then check how is the performance so I'll go to the graphics settings and here you can see that I'm running at 1366 into 768 resolution and everything is at low and off and you can see that the geometry detail is low VFX was medium so I'll just turn it to low and let's see if it runs smoothly at this graphics level but here you can see that still it is not smooth it is somewhat playable but it's not good you will not be able to win the races if if this kind of graphics is coming on the laptop and you can easily make out that this game is running approximately at 20 frames per second and at this performance you will not be able to play game so based on this performance I will definitely not recommend this laptop for any gamers alright friends so this was my complete video review for new HP laptop I hope you liked it if you like do give a thumbs up and if you have any other question or query related to this particular laptop please mention in the comments below and yes don't forget to subscribe because at 20,000 subscription I will be distributing lots of goodies and gifts so please stay tuned and do visit my Facebook page. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.